So the challenge with PSA, as we use it currently, is that it's prostate specific, but not prostate cancer specific. And there are a number of reflex tests on the market, OPCO 4K and prostate health index, and some urine-based tests that uh, increase the specificity of an elevated PSA by doing this other test so that you can help determine who needs a biopsy and who doesn't. And collectively, they allow us to avoid biopsying somewhere between 25 and 35 percent of men. ISO PSA is a new way of measuring PSA in the blood. And it's based on the idea that cancer related proteins are structurally altered. And the ISO PSA assay um, measures the structurally altered proteins in a way that's different than just measuring the concentration of total PSA and free PSA. And what we found in our study was that ISO PSA is far more accurate than PSA and free PSA in predicting who is who with an elevated PSA is likely to have uh, prostate cancer. And um, it has allowed us to avoid in one prospective study that we publish more than 50% of unnecessary biopsies, which would be a huge uh, benefit to the prostate cancer community at large if we could reduce the number of biopsies that we're doing in men who have a PSA greater than four by half. And so um, we just learned that this test is going to be covered by Medicare in the United States. And uh, we're waiting for FDA approval. And um, it's currently available commercially. And I'm really excited by it because I think it's going to um, help reduce the number of biopsies that we do, which is good for men who don't like having biopsies. It's good for reducing or avoiding side effects. And maybe more importantly, it should reduce the number of low-grade cancers that we find, uh, which we'd rather not know about since those men are not at risk of dying of their cancer.